Hi, I'm Dr. Mia Frezzo. And I'm Jan Jeremias. And we are here to talk to you as we are welcoming 2019. 2019. Kind of great, but a little scary. Can't believe it's 2019. True. True. So many of us make New Year's resolutions as we welcome a new year. And uh, this year we thought it might be uh, quite applicable to include our pets in these New Year's resolutions or goals as we enter this 2019 era. And so when you're making goals or trying to make any change in your life, make them um, achievable. Don't choose anything too grand and too demanding that you're not going to be able to lift up or be able to live up to. So small changes in your life can have a huge impact. And so for you and your pets, and so make them achievable so that you actually can feel proud of yourself. So we have just some small suggestions for you. Um, it might be very simple to implement some of these changes and you can take our suggestions or, or make your own, but we thought uh, it would be valuable to snuggle with your pets more. You know, uh, many of us are very busy, and it might be uh, just nice to feel that you spend a few extra minutes snuggling and cuddling with your pet. Uh, you may consider walking your dog more. You now, when you walk your dog, you may want to think about a different route and vary it a little bit so it keeps it interesting and stimulating for him or her uh, to take a little different scenery in on a regular basis. Um, you may consider playing with your pet more, and this could be fetch or frisbee, or for kitties, a laser light or a cat dancer. And some of these things might um, really encourage them to be a little bit more active and interact with you more. And these types of suggestions will improve the bond that you have with your lovable pets at home. And what if you chose a health goal? So more of like a, a practical health goal. I mean, the connection obviously is so key to a good relationship and having your pets be happy and healthy. But what if you chose a health goal? So for example, um, maybe you both add in a, the, the same supplement. Maybe, you know, you might not be, you know, same type of supplement. So maybe you get your pet on omegas and you add omegas into your diet, or maybe both of you take a probiotic. I believe everybody should take a probiotic and everybody in my house does all the animals and myself. So maybe that's one thing you could add in to your sort of daily health regimen. Um, you could, I mean, we're talking about spoil your pet here. We're on the spoiler pet page. So maybe applying essential oils um, each day. Um, to you and your pet. If you're currently using oils, maybe adding in a new oil for both of you. Mm -hmm. Emotionally, um, the period of time after the holidays can uh, make us feel a little bit sad, a little bit let down, and the winter can be a little bit long. So we thought about some oils that might uh, be cheery and um, joyful and energizing this time of the year. So we have some suggestions, and you may consider things like the uplifting blend, the encouraging blend, and the inspiring blend. For individual oils, uh, some suggestions are frankincense, along along, rose, and geranium. You could apply these oils or you could diffuse them. So your choice. Um, so why don't we begin this year by creating some good goals? some goals that are going to change not only our own lives, but the lives of our pets. A new routine to begin this new year. If you would like to join our team and work with us, we would be glad to have you and support you in any way we can. And you can reach us by calling Dr. Frezzo at Animal Hospital of Hasbrook Heights. The number is 201-288. 7800. Or you can email me, jan at spoilyourpeteo.com. Best wishes for a happy, happy new year. Happy new year.